But right now we're at the gas station. We are on our way for a overnight trip to Kansas City. Yay! And by we, I mean me. Flickerbug is back there. And my husband is pumping gas um, right now. So we live in St. Louis. Kansas City is not that far away. And there is a free day conference for the Spina Bifida of Kansas City Association tomorrow. So we just decided to make a trip out of it. We're gonna go to Kansas City today. We're going to, oh, you're done, thank you. Thank you. Uh, we're going to potentially get him in the pool at the hotel because we do, uh, we try to get him in the pool every other weekend ever since we came back from the Virgin Islands. What's wrong? Oh, you want your tambourine? Okay. There you go. We're going to eat a ridiculous amount of barbecue, hopefully from Oklahoma Joe's, maybe from Gates. And then tomorrow, we're gonna spend the night in the hotel. Tomorrow we're gonna go to the conference and then we're gonna come back here. So I'm gonna just take you guys along with us. So we stopped at McDonald's as you do on road trips and uh, you know, just got him out of the car. I went to the bathroom, exciting stuff. And now I'm in the car getting his food and we also got some nuggets. So we're gonna eat and we're gonna feed him and then get back on the road. By the way, these are what he eats. Let me show you guys. These. And when I say what he eats, I mean the only thing he really eats. So, about to make it happen. Say hi. <laughs> oh, you're messing up mommy hair, man. Let's keep it important. Okay. Uh, sir, eat. You just said you wanted to eat. Lies. Lies. Bite. With mommy even more distracted. So we ended up at this travel center because we needed a microwave. So we are in Kansas City now and we are actually in Country Club Plaza, which um, is like a shopping district situation. In you go. I like what? <laughs> Don't you have that? I do, it's just I don't have it as big. Sure. It looks like something that you already own. It's fine, it looks like you. Okay, so we're here at Walmart. It's actually neighborhood Walmart across the street from Oklahoma Joe's. We just want to go in here because last time when we were in the line at Oklahoma Joe's, it piqued our interest because it's green or something. So we're wondering like what the heck is the difference. I'm here with this one. What are you doing? Hey, people. He is crunking my sheep. Let's watch him crunk the sheep. Not this. What's that? This. What about this? This. 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 That. This. You put the shades on. That's upside down. for the cruise. All right, you guys, we are in our room and it is a residence in. What kind of room is this in residence in? Studio. Studio. So there is, there is Mr. Flickerbug, Studio King. There's a living room, there's a bed, there's a kitchen, there's a husband, and there's me who needs to do some diaper changing and things of that nature. Somebody has found the lamp of some sort. Light. And so we went, light. yeah, light, Boba, good job, light. 
he's still working on his L's, you guys. Um, so I'm about to, this is very nice actually, the little bed. I feel like we stayed in one of these in Jersey before the cruise. There's me. This is what the room looked like. So anywho, we're gonna get ourselves situated and I'm gonna get him from playing with the lights. So this one has been changed and I took his pants off as you can see. And he's drinking his cup You on. Hopefully you guys got a good shot of the room. Let me show you again. Felt like I was rushed before. There's an intruder coming in with luggage. Very nice, huh? Very nice room. All right, time to eat. So this one's trying to get the Wi-Fi working. This one is on the pullout bed because we don't want to put him on the right. We don't want to put him on the floor, so that gives us another spot that we can put him on uh, there besides our bed. And I am about to tackle our food because when we're in St. Louis, we have to pay five dollars for an adult, so we go in the pool with him one at a time. But this time it's free, so even though the room is like sweltering hot because there's a hot tub in there and. Yeah, I'm not totally looking forward to the heat. I'm going in because it's free. So let's do it. Oh, you brought the little ball. Hi, Boba. I didn't see you at the ball. Did that float? Oh. I was gonna try to walk with them. Okay, we tried, Bubba. It's too noisy. Let's go. Look at him. Oh, Bubba. We tried, but it's too noisy. We tried. The screaming is freaking him out. Yeah, it's too much echo. No, there's no problem. We tried, though. Oh, yeah. Is that better, Boba? Okay, so that was short-lived. Yeah, like literally five minutes, maybe. Ooh, my finger. Literally five minutes. And um, this one is not keen on all the screaming. There's about five to seven kids in there. Loud screaming kids in a sealed room with echoes. And that's not gonna cut it. So basically, we are not in the pool. I didn't even get in, you guys. Uh, as you can see, those two went in and I didn't get in, so we're just gonna call it a night. But at least we tried. Huh? No, don't do that. Let, me, don't do that. Let that be a last resort. But we'll say hi. Okay, can you give daddy back his name back? Yeah. How about that? No? Okay, that works too. All right, so we are at the Spina Bifida Kansas City Education Day, and I just came from checking on Flickrbug at the childcare. This is the first time an event has said that it has childcare, you guys, and I actually dropped my kid off. I never drop him off because I never feel like they could take care of him, but I'm at a Spina Bifida event, so it's awesome. Anyway, we just had our first session. My husband's still back there with him, and I am going to go back downstairs and see if I can find a restroom and everything. It's awesome though, because I just met a couple and I was having conversations with them about um, one of the issues that my son might have. So it's such a rare thing for me to find people to be able to talk to about this stuff, much less a room full of people. We just had a session with a neurologist, so I asked a bunch of questions, and now we're gonna have a session with, with a urologist. So I'll have some more questions to ask. So, so far it's awesome. Lots of people, adults, children, parents, teenagers with spina bifida or people raising people with spina bifida. It is freaking awesome. And there are a few people from St. Louis are here, which is how I found out about it.
It's over. Can you guys even see me? You can't see me. It's not any better. Just like that, the conference is over and we had an awesome time. Uh, that was weird, you guys. That was, I felt like I belonged and like I stuck out all at once. I felt like I stuck out because clearly we were the only brown people in there. I think I might have sort of seen somebody, the chick, you think the chick in the child care center was, what do you think, Latina maybe? She almost looked like American Indian. She was real interesting looking, but whatever. Um, and besides that, we were the only chips in that cookie. However, don't shake your head at me. However, it was strange because like I didn't have to explain anything to anybody. You know, his sensory issues. There were people who had those things happening. The fact that he only eats one thing, didn't have to explain that. If he made any random noises, nobody turned around. Nobody was staring at his AFOs. Nobody was looking at him like, why don't you put him down? Matter of fact, it was just a room full of people who had spina bifida, who had um, any version of physical disabilities. Some walking with just braces, some walking with crutches, some many people in wheelchairs. Um, it was very, very Interesting, so I, I'm really glad we came. Had a great time. We are about to leave. The weather is still wonderfully warm here. It was freezing in there. I'm happy that I went. Oh, I also found out that two of the people at the childcare who were in the childcare room had children in the childcare room who had spina bifida. So therefore, that's why it was awesomeness. So we're about to go get more barbecue and then we're about to get back on the road.